everybody. This is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're back out today working on our cabin bed again, the log bed. Um, what I've done is I've stood the post up like I want them to be at the headboard. And I came in and we want our uh, bed rail to be at 16 inches from the floor because we're not really going to put a box spring under it. We're going to put laths across it or slats or whatever you want to call them. Probably with a piece of plywood and then put a, a nice good mattress on top of it. So what I've done is I came in here and marked 16 inches on each side from the concrete up. So that's where on the sides out here our bed rails will go. So we also want our, our pole going across here to be at the same height where it matches on the bed. Once I got that established, I made sure my poles were standing just like I wanted them. I screwed a 2x4 on the bottom, and I screwed one across the top. And what this will do is this will hold them in place as I work on this part right here. Now, I have a pole on the tractor here that I'm going to be working with. I'm going to be cutting this to fit inside this here so that um, we have our first pole across it and I'll be um, screwing it and bolting it in um, you know to get it in place and then I'll be working on the top one to go across here and then we'll work on our uh, uh, spindles to go in between it here because I'm not really sure what look I want just yet so I want to get this in and I want to get this in and then we'll try to work on the spindles a little bit Might go 55 and I cut it just a little bit big on purpose, but okay.
What do you think, Papa? I think we're getting there. Okay guys, we've got the top rail and the bottom rail in temporarily. Um, we've got them just kind of screwed in. We're going to be coming back and drilling holes through the end here, putting lag bolts in them to kind of pull it all together good and tight. After looking at it here, I think we're going to go cut another pole and we're going to put one across here. That way, we'll, we'll be able to put our spindles in here. It's just a little bit too far of a gap here to do something. So I, I believe that's what we're going to do is I'm going to go get me another one to go here and try to see if we can't get that one cut in. And I know it looks a little rough with the chainsaw cutting right here, but we're going to come back with a hand grinder and an attachment to go on it. We're going to smooth all this stuff out. We're going to clean all this up and everything. This is just a rough end for the bed right now. The finish work will come later. We want to just make sure we get it put together where... We know what it's going to look like. So that's that's the biggest issue right now, just getting it put together and rough in. Okay guys, we've finished up putting the rails in. We've got the two top ones bolted in, nice and solid. They're very rigid. We haven't put the bottom one in yet. We've got to get some extra bolts to put them in with. So we're going to take this over to the cabin now. and We're going to be peeling the spindles to go in it. Looking to see what we have. We have a lot of different shaped pieces of wood. We'll try to pick out the pieces that looks like they'll work here the best and we'll be installing them at a later time. We just wanted to go ahead and get this part of it done so that um, we have the headboard started. We're gonna be taking a hand grinder like we mentioned and dressing all this up. But we're gonna leave the two befores on it for right now because I'm gonna carry it with the forks over to the cabin. That'll make an easy place for us to reach and grab up under it and we won't have to worry about damaging our wood or anything like that. We'll be able to, uh, to carry it. And it's not, it's pretty heavy. I mean, it'll probably take three or four people just to pick this one end up. So it's, uh, it is what it is. We're going to have to try to work with what we have to try to get it in the cabin. I know it's going to be a job, but I'll probably have to get some friends to come over and help me pick this up and 
and get it actually took into the cabin once we get it sanded down and brushed up and cleaned up and looking like we want it to look before we actually put it all together uh, we need to get it in the cabin so guys this is the building of the headboard uh, hang with us and in another video we'll show you the building of the footboard Okay, so we've made it to the porch. Yep. Okay, guys, we've got it over here to the cabin. We'll probably finish up the spindles and stuff over here. Um, just mainly because it's uh, it's just so heavy. This thing right here probably weighs, I don't know, probably 250, 300 pounds. Um, and it's just a little bit difficult to, to move with all the spindles in it. We're just adding more weight. So we're probably going to get everything cut here on the porch and get it all ready get it installed and then I'll get some friends to help me pick it up and set it up in the house and take it in the bedroom okay guys I've been working on the center part of the bed some more Wanda and I have come up with a design that uh, we think is really cool for this bed and um, we are not going to reveal that until we actually put the bed in the room so to me we got a we're gonna be doing the headboard and the footboard with this uh the footboard will be a little bit different design than the headboard but the headboard is a specific design that we came up with on the spindles i really think you guys will enjoy it but we're like i said we're not going to talk about it we're not going to reveal it until we put the bed in the bedroom and then it'll be the big reveal so um stay with us Watch the rest of the build on the bed and see what we're doing with the side rails and everything like that. And then hang in there. We're going to get her finished in one video. And then we're going to be putting her in the bedroom in one video. And when we put it in the bedroom, that, my friend, is when you're going to find out what we have done behind it. I think you will. I think you'll like it. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.